morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the new year. And to celebrate, we are going to do a festival of lessons and carols. Please feel free to sing out. All of the hymns are listed in your bulletin. And our readers, with David, Lindy, Nani, and myself, um, will do a selection of readings from the, um, the Bible. And I hope you enjoy. Um, we're going to have a voluntary first, Mikey, and we will begin. <laughs>
God, in this Christmas season, let it be our duty and delight to hear once more the message of the angels. To go to Bethlehem and see the son of David lying in a manger. Let us hear and heed the Holy Scripture, the story of God's loving purpose from the time of our rebellion against him until the glorious redemption brought to us by his holy child, Jesus. And let us make this place glad with our carols of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of his whole world, for peace and justice on earth, for the unity and mission of the church for which he died, and especially for his church in our country and in the city. And because he particularly loves them, let us remember in his name the poor and helpless, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely and unloved, the aged and little children, as well as all those who do not know and love the Lord Jesus Christ. Finally, let us remember before God his <coughs> pure and lowly mother, and that whole multitude which no one can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom in Jesus we are one forevermore. And now, to gather up all these petitions, let us pray in the words which Christ himself has taught us, saying, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is kingdom, and power, and glory. The Almighty God bless us with his grace. Christ give us the joys of everlasting life. And to the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of angels bring us all. Amen. And our opening hymn is...
reading from Genesis. The man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening, <coughs> and they hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. But the Lord called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman who you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike their heel. And to the man he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten of the tree about which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you, and you shall eat plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread, until you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. Mighty God, 
everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow <coughs> continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish it and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm sorry. St. Luke tells of the birth of Jesus. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn.
reflection. The wise men are led by the star to Jesus. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For well, we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with it, and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you came, shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was born. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another route.
John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation from the opening of the Gospel of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, all things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. <coughs> there was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh, and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. Cemetery in Amelia, and um, 
um, probably a celebration of life later on, but he died very quickly, um, very peacefully from what I understand, but he died. And also Jerry Smith has died, and her service will be in January 7th at 1 p.m. at Madigan Church, which is close to down Midlothian, in Midlothian and the 288. Um, please pick up your contribution envelopes, and if you would like to request all the flowers or would like to continue with your current date, um, please contact Mary Lou uh, Schindler. The phone number is in your bulletin. Um, vestry meeting will meet after church next Sunday. Are we doing a potluck next week? I don't think so. No? Okay. Too much COVID. <laughs> Too much COVID. All right. Um, are there any other announcements? Um, do we put our offerings in the basket? Up yes, here? basket right up here. May God, who in the Word made flesh, join heaven to earth and earth to heaven, give you his peace and favor.